hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel in today's tutorial we will learn how to create this amazing login page design using only html and css this is a login page design for twitter also when we go to twitter login i will show you example of this login page so if you type twitter login page you can see we have similar to our own okay So this is what we are building. This is the login page that we are going to be login form that we'll create using only HTML and CSS. Also, you can see we have this similar one to this one. You can see here we have the logo of the Twitter, Twitter logo. Also, we have the sign in with Google and sign in with Apple or you can just sign phone, email or username. Also, we have this don't have an account and we have the sign up also. So we'll create this login form using only HTML and CSS. So kindly before starting this video, kindly do subscribe to our YouTube channel and also share with your fellow developers. So without wasting time, let's start the video. Hello guys, welcome back again. So here I have created one folder called login form. Inside this folder I have two logo that is for Apple and Google. Let's open this folder with our text editor. So I'm using Visual Studio Code. So inside this folder, we'll create one file called index.html. Also, I'm going to write the basic HTML structure. And also we're going to give a title for our tutorial for, for this login form. Okay, so I'll say Twitter login form. And also we need to link our CSS. So I'll create another file called style.css. And let me just remove this. Also, we are going to add our link. We're going to link the CSS and the HTML by using this link tag. Next, I'm going to write, I'm going to create one div with a class container. Inside this container, we are going to add another div called box. And also we'll add another box, another class called box one. Inside this div, we'll add the i tag, and also for this one, we'll give it a class called Twitter. Okay. So simply, I'm going to add an icon here. So I'll go to this website called icons8.com. Here we're going to search Twitter. And after this, we need to find the Twitter logo. So I'll choose this one. So not this one. Let's just search again. So I'm going to choose this one. And simply I'm going to embed HTML. And I'm going to copy this. Okay, paste this fragment into your channel. So I'm going to use this URL. So let's come back to our text editor. I'm going to add the between the i tag. Now simply we have added our logo. Next we need to create is a button. Inside this button I'll add img and here I'm going to add my first image that is Apple. No, we're going to add Google. Google.com. Google.png, sorry. Also, we don't need this. Let's just remove. And here I'm going to add a width of 19. Next, I'm going to add a span tag that says sign. Sign in with Google. Now let's save this and go back to our folder. Now let's simply open this in our browser. So simply double click it. Now you can see we have our logo and our sign in with Google. Next we need to add for we need to add another button. So I'm going to simply copy this button and simply duplicate it and change the image to Apple. Also, I'm going to say sign in with apple next at the end of this div tag we need to create a h5 tag 
and here I'm going to say or and this way we create our input validation okay inputs I mean inputs so next I'm going to create one div with a class name box and I'll also add another class called box2 inside this div I'm going to create a form tag so we don't need to add action because we're not dealing with any PHP here inside here I'm going to add my input and the type is going to be text also I'm going to change this one to placeholder we don't need to add ID so just move ID that one and the, inside this placeholder I'm going to add phone we're going to add email or we can say username after this form tag we need to add a button for this button I'm going to give it a class called next btn also I'm going to say next at the end of this div tag I'm going to add a paragraph that says don't have an account don't have an account so let's say like don't have an, an account and I'm going to add a catalog that says and we'll add a text that says sign sign up so if you don't have an account you can sign up okay simply save your file come back to the browser refresh it now you can see we have our form but this doesn't look uh, so we're going to add some styling so by the way this is our Twitter sign-in uh, sign page okay so if you actually visit the Twitter sign uh, page you can see if you try to log in you'll see this same login form okay so let's add some styling simply before I do that we need to add our next button here and for this button I'll give it I'm going to add a text that says forget password okay so if you do if you log try to log in and you don't you forgot your password you can simply click this button now let's add some styling so i'll start with the body for the body i'm going to add background color So you should be comma okay so that's our background color next I'm going to style my class container for this class I'll add position to be absolute also we'll add top 50% plus left should be 50% also we'll add transform then I'll say translate and I'll do negative 50 percent negative 50 percent also we need to add background width of 450 pixel also we'll add height of 550 next we need to add border radius of 20 pixel box shadow So here I'm going to change my values for the colors. And lastly, I'll add point 0.2. Okay. So next we need to say display to be flex. Also, we'll add flex direction to be column. Next, I'll say justify content to be center. Also, align items to be center. Font firmly.
poppins and serif next is our class box and here we'll start with our first uh, box that is box one actually let's let's deal with the button first okay so i'm going to say box comma box one or should we start the first box let's just start with the box okay so for here i'm going to say display to be to be flex also align items to be center next is our class box for this one i will add width of 300 pixel also we need to add height of 240 pixel flex direction to be column also i'm going to say justify content to be space evenly now simply save your file come back to your browser refresh it now you can see our form is coming up well you can see we have the background color and also we have the two buttons next what we need to add is we need to edit our button for this one i'll add width of 300 pixel also we'll add height background color outline to be none also we need to add font weight of i'll say bold also border to be one pixel solid And here I'm going to change my values. Okay, so after this, we need to add something like let's say border radius, which is okay. For my border radius, I'll give it 20 pixel. Just for content to be center. Also, we need to add font from this. So simply I'm going to copy this. Next, we we'll let's start with our. We we'll start styling our inputs. No, before inputs, let's do our icons. Okay. For this one, I'll say box one. Button, IMG. Okay. This is the now we are starting with the Twitter logo. For this one, I'll add margin. Zero point five frame next i'll say box one now for our i tag i'll add color so it should be capital is next i'll add font size of 1.8 Next, we need to add is we need to style our second box that is where our inputs. So I'll say box two input. For this one, I will add position to be relative. Also, we'll add width of 300 pixel. We need to add height 55 pixel. Next, we need to uh, say is outline to be none. Also, we need to add border. So I'll say one pixel solid and I'm going to use the same color code. Next, I'll add say border radius to be four pixel. Also, we need to add padding left. So we'll say padding left to be 10 pixel. Next is our, sorry, should be class box two then uh, it's our label so i'll say for my labels sorry i forgot to add the l so for this one i'll add position to be absolute also we'll say top to be zero next is our placeholder
so it should be spaced out for this one i'll add font size of one okay one trim next we need to add say is our class books too then we need to add our we need to edit our buttons of next btn okay for this one i will add background color also we'll add color to be white so we have background color and color okay so simply let's lastly do our container of p paragraph the last paragraph where we say if you don't have an account you can just sign up okay and we also added an anchor tag don't forget that so here we're going to add font size of 7.7 .7. also we'll add color for this one i will say 136 also we'll add 136 and lastly i'm going to do 138 okay so next is our container as lastly we're going to style our anchor tags for this one i'll say text declaration to be none also we'll add color so simply save your file come back to your browser refresh it now you can see we have our we have our twitter login form page okay so i think we forgot to add something we should have some border colors here okay so simply go back let's check our yeah here we need to add after this i'm going to say box two and i'm going to say next btn and i'll say focus so i don't use the hover okay i want to use focus okay for this one we'll add border and i'm going to say one pixel solid now if we save this you're going to see that this color on our border okay so this focus is not over okay let me just refresh where it says it should be input not uh, btn okay let's just remove this input now save your file come back to your browser refresh again now you can see we have this color around the border okay now this is the use of focus not over okay it focus okay so simply now we have created our login that twitter login form page design using only html and css as you can see on top we have the logo of the twitter also we have these two buttons that say sign in with google or sign in with apple or you can just log in with your phone email or username and also we have this uh, button that says next and also we have if you don't have password you can simply click this button called forget password also down here we have the if you simply don't have all these you can simply create an account by clicking this sign up button okay now this is similar to twitter login page design uh, so quick i'm going to show you the twitter login page design it's actually similar to what we created so you can see we have the same this login form as this one okay so guys that was all for today's tutorial so if you enjoyed this video and if you think this video was very helpful kindly please subscribe to our youtube channel and also share with your fellow developers so till next time bye